All right, we've got a special review here today. We have Gina Carlo Esposito as Moff Gideon. That's right, we have the one six scale mini bust of Moff Gideon, the free comic book day 2022 exclusive from Gentle Giant and Diamond Select Toys. Now, it has the dark saber. Ooh, nice. Now, the face, I've heard some people complain about the face. We're going to take a look. This is probably the hardest thing to do. I love busts that are in the animated style, that are creatures or people with helmets, characters with helmets. The faces are always tough. Now, we'll find out here in a second who, uh, you know, how well the face came out, but we do have it here on the back. We've got 1,879 of 3,000. That's... Let's pull it out. We have the card, Free Comic Book Day, 1,879. I like the letter of authenticity comes with that. And since we've got another 1-6 scale mini bust, which we just did Count Dooku, so you definitely want to check that review out, and I will post it at the end. We do have the Star Wars logo here. And we are going to cut through the box here. Now, always keep the boxes. Always keep your styrofoam. I rotate through mine, so I always have a good place to store them. They're always perfectly still. It's not something you want to do when you move. You're like, I mean, as toy collectors, we keep the box anyway which is still sometimes i have issues with which is why i like a good destruction of the box just destroy it um but then you know there's also that part of me that was like wish he would have kept every box that he ever had now there we go got these little crazy things which i like to put right back into the little holes there i'm gonna get moff gideon out Ooh, and the dark saber i think this is my first mini bust with a dark saber i can't think of anybody who had one yet. All right, so we can get them out of here now. Ooh, instantly, instantly, and as soon as you touch it, you can feel the texture and how smooth his cape is. I love the armor here. Very nice touch. Um, this is sharp, like not only sharp looking, sharp feeling. Um, really, really, really tight. Uh, there's a nice texture here in the cloak on the like the fold over. Here's our records here. Free comic book day right there. That's nice that they added that there too. We have, uh, I always like how souped up Moff Gideon is. I mean, he's an older dude. I really hope they really dive into his backstory, even if it's in a novel or a comics and stuff. I want to know how he rose to the ranks and was still, is he a self-proclaimed Moff? You know, all kinds of cool things like that. How did he end up with the dark saber? We're going to find out, I hope. Um, some loose styrofoam here, nothing that's a uh, paint chip or anything, but I also love the fact that he has gauntlets with like, you know, almost brass knuckles on the end. Um, so let's get to it, right? Oh, the armor here, of course. I think the face is pretty good. I like the face. Um, so let's get this saber out and there we go. Nice and easy. Now this is, this is definitely your danger point. So you definitely want to be careful. This is very this is pointy. That's probably, if that falls, it's definitely going to break. We have an insert point here. We have another danger point here you want to be careful of. Um, and you want to make sure you get the saber in that it sinks up right. So, really nice. Now, you could have a line of these, uh, you know, lightsaber characters going on. The, I would put him on the opposite side of Count Dooku. Maybe put the Mando over here. Um, but as one six scale bus goes, I think his face is pretty good. He's a new character. So there's a bit of a risk, you know, how cool will he be? How what will his legacy be with the Star Wars universe? I think right now it's a good point to get in on one of these later down the road. Probably, um, you know, you're not going to see as many. If he dies, you won't see as many. But I kind of like that sometimes. You know, it's like getting a, um, a Count Dooku or a, you know... Um, Grand Moff Tarkin. It's just interesting. And what makes a Grand Moff and then just a Moff? So the other nice part I like about this is a free comic book day exclusive. So this is definitely one that there's not going to be many of, even though it says 3,000. You're not going to see as many. Um, but great detail here on the face, the ears, the hair, and the armor. Nice and shiny. The buttons are here. They're ridged. A nice belt. This is, this is a nice piece. Now, this sells... For one twenty, um, I would definitely look for a place you could get free shipping. And since it was a free comic book day exclusive, there's probably a comic book stores. I'm sure that several of the big comic book stores probably have one for sure. And you may be able to order one from your local comic book shop. Let's do a quick 
comparison to scale here, we've got First Order Trooper, the future, and the past. We've got a bounty hunter, Bausch. So that kind of gives you the scale of what you're looking at here. Again, really nice. If you get the, if you got the Count Dooku, check out our review if you, if you need to see something on it. It's really good. Um, I am like loving this one, and I hope this Black Saber ends up with Mando as well as Bo-Katan. Nice piece. This is Bob from Total Recon. Thanking General Giant for sending this out. Really do like it. Just great pose. And even this tiny little bit of color right there. I mean, they don't miss any details. Thank you, John Giant.